Hello, my fellow CS colleagues. It's me, Sarah B. Cruz from Pretreat CSS, where we educate, motivate, and have a little fun onboarding into our central sterile career with professional development. Study Skills is now in session. This educational series was created to help guide us in our certification endeavors. So if you're the new technician fresh out of your tech program or the real MVP already in the department, certification can be attained. CRCST, CSPDT, CHL, the abbreviations are endless. Our sponsor, Proper Manufacturing Company, and I have your back. Join us as we discuss physical indicators of success in your study skills. All right, everybody, fair warning, no tips or tricks here. The approach and examples we'll be reviewing today is classified as active studying. Through engaging in active study, you'll be able to take what you learn and recreate the info in a way that supports understanding. With active studying, you won't just memorize, you'll learn why. Let's get to it and talk about study styles. Have you ever been trying to study and can't remember what you just read? How about feeling frustrated and antsy while staring at flashcards? Technology tempting you to go down an endless scroll these are all indications that you may not be using a study technique that works for you. Your study style defines your learning style. There are quizzes and such online that can help us determine our study style, but as a quick check-in, let's observe how we do the things we like to do. So think of an interest you have, let's say sports. Do you enjoy playing sports, watching sports on television, listening to sports on a broadcast or a podcast, or reading about them the next day? These four modes coincide with your preferred study style, kinesthetic, visual, auditory, reading. Let's break these down to create actionable steps in our study sessions. All right, first up, kinesthetic. See one, do one, hands-on, or whichever you prefer. This style is personified by energy and the will to get it done. This style is also noted by pen tappers, leg shakers, and fidget spinners. That's because their mind is at its retention peak when they are active in some capacity. This style of learning is best coupled with physical action. Study strategies include studying while in motion, take books or notes to the gym, listen to a lecture on a walk, Chew gum during the study session. Regardless of the movement, the feeling of action helps keep the mind engaged in the process at hand. Make personalized flashcards. The motion of writing and holding a physical object will help build the connection to the contents. Relate what's being learned to with something physical. If you work in the field, apply the practice you learned about at work. If you aren't, ask a professional their experience with the topic you just studied. This also will reinforce connective thought. This includes breaks. Don't just sit there on your break, do something. Next, visual. This study style would rather look at a graph and a video before ever reading the text. And given their keen ability to decipher information from a graphic, they probably wouldn't need to. So, if you've ever had to close your eyes to recall a fact, you may be a visual learner. Study strategies include organize with structure, grab a variety of pens and highlighters and act accordingly when taking notes, have a color that represents something different and use it consistently. But don't get too carried away though. You have to be able to remember what each color means. Extra tip, Try a notebook that has no lines, so it's not visually disruptive when you're studying. Draw it out. Diagrams, graphs, and images are your best friend. Take the learned information and turn it into a diagram or graph. Then bar, line, or recreate the topic as an image. The choice is yours and there's no wrong answer. Watch a video. Try searching the topic online if the instructor or educator can't provide one, but be careful. <laughs> Speaking of videos, check out our sponsor, Proper Manufacturing Company's amazing continuing education opportunities through Proper Academy. 
Proper Manufacturing Company is going a step further in their dedication to eliminate hospital-acquired infections by offering continuing education courses to you, my fellow CS colleagues. Proper Academy has an easily accessible library of live and on-demand online CE accredited courses and study guides. With crisp imaging, clear objective goals, and progressive presentations, the knowledge you'll gain is amazing and, dare I say, fun. That's right, folks. Proper Academy has shown up for our industry to spread knowledge and passion to sterile processing technicians in all healthcare settings including dental offices and even veterinary clinics. The self-study guides are my favorite. You can read and refer to them in a way that works best for your learning style. These are CE accredited too. Whether your patients are people or of the furry friend variety, patient safety is what sterile processing is all about. With Proper Academy, you'll be more than ready to offer your professional insight to our industry. Visit www properacademy.com. It's time to get a proper education. That's what's up. Talk about taking all your study styles into consideration for fun and easy learning. CSS Nerd is activated. Let's use this momentum to discuss our last two study styles. Auditory. This study style is often interpreted as being a good listener. We'll find that this individual prefers to write questions down during the discussion and then circle back to them later. They can be bad spellers, but still enjoy discussing topics in length in order to fully understand them. Study strategies include talking out loud, literally. There is just something about hearing their own voice say what they are learning that makes it make sense. Read the notes and the questions out loud to help clarify any confusion, even a whisper helps. Study groups. It's all about discussion and teaching. Input, corrections, and direct feedback reinforce the correct information more readily. Even if they aren't in your field or class, ask them if you can explain to them what you just learned. Silence can be deadly. Play music while studying. Some nonverbal lo-fi music in the background can really help focus. Try out a podcast that discusses the topic further. There are plenty of good ones for the central sterile industry out there. Check them out. And the last study style, reading. This one's pretty straight to the point. The style is typically more independent and preferring to read the information and take notes on it. Some study strategies include rewriting your notes. That's right. Rewrite your notes from class, but in a more condensed version. Remember, all information is relevant, but not all information is important. Handouts. Get them. Print off articles or information that is created ahead of time by someone else so notes can be taken directly from that resource. Turn images into words. Visual stimulus can be distracting, so words on paper seem to do the trick. Having a hard time understanding a graph or images? Write what you see down into a list of words to make it more digestible for your studying. Although this seems like it was made for learning or studying in school, I assure you these can be applied while in the CS department. For example, a map of your fire escape route may serve you better as a visual learner than the explanation during orientation. Don't hesitate to ask for one. You may also be asked to give an explanation of a process for your competency. Offer to give a return demonstration or hand over hand instead if you're not a strong auditory learner. And yes, you can absolutely be more than one, a hybrid, dare I say. I myself am a reader in auditory style. I usually speak into a recorder to get all my ideas out of my head and then circle back to write and dive deeper into them. I absolutely love to read and do crossword puzzles. So, which style or style sounds like you? Visit pretreatcss.com slash study styles to get your free PDF that contains link to help you determine your study style to put the CSS in your study success. CSS nerds are better in groups, so I want to give you all a big Wi-Fi high five for allowing our sponsor, Proper Manufacturing Company, and myself to join in on your CS adventure. You're the real MVPs. Bye. 
So here's my disclaimer. All of the opinions or suggestions in this study series are a reflection of me, Sarah B. Cruz of Pretreat CSS. Take what you need and leave the rest.